So I have come here today to say what most of our women don't like to hear. What most of our ladies despise to hear. And what is that they don't like to hear? Polygamy. The women don't believe in polygamous family. What do they believe in? One man, one wife. One man, one woman. Once you discuss polygamy to a woman, you have turned her off. She don't like to hear it. I don't know why. Why is it difficult for our ladies to accept polygamy that is here already? Polygamy has come to stay and nobody is going to erase it. As for me, I don't believe in one man, one wife. Theoretically, one man, one wife is possible, but practically, one man, one wife is not seen anywhere. One man, one wife is not existing. That is the fact that you should know. It is either one man, two or three, four, five side chicks, one man, one illegal wife is somewhere that you don't know. Because your husband has a baby mama outside. Your husband has children outside. You don't know your husband's secrets. You don't know that your husband is already in polygamous family. You don't know, but someday, one of these days, you are going to know. You are going to know the secret of your husband. You are still in a nuclear family. Why your husband has migrated into polygamous family? Most of you, your mothers are baby mamas. Your mothers, we are second and third wives. Most of you, your mothers are second wives. But you don't want to accept polygamy that is here already. Polygamy has come and it is going nowhere. It has always been there. Just that our men are now tortoise. In the time of our ancestors, our, our men, our ancestors, our fathers were lions and tigers. They were, they were lion, they, they, they roar like lion, but now our men are tortoise. Your husbands are now pussycats. Where are they going? They are going to their side chick house. They are going to meet their baby mamas. They are going to meet their illegal wives that they kept. So a man cannot stay with only one woman. The way they use barbed wire to barbed wire the waist of men is not the way they barbed wire the waist of women. That is why a man will have a beautiful lady as a wife. With a front and back. Everywhere is well packaged. God-fearing. She has home training. She respects the man. But still, the husband is looking outside. Why? Because of barbed wire, the barbed wire that God used to barbed wire the waist of our husbands, we, they can't help it. This is nature. You can never cheat nature. One woman cannot satisfy one man. Two women cannot satisfy one man. Three, four, five, six, seven cannot satisfy one man. You don't want to share your husband with a second wife. But your husband is sharing his body with your house help. Your husband is sharing his body with his sex girl. Your husband is sharing his body everywhere. But you don't want to share him. But the man is sharing himself. How will you know when you want the man all to yourself? If only you people were open enough as women, all these things would not be happening. In the time of our mothers, I miss our mothers. That time we had women and now we don't have women again. That was when we had women, righteous women, reasonable women. Now you don't want to share your husband. But your husband is a rapist and a pedophile. Your husband is raping anything he sees. Our mothers go outside to bring in beautiful women. For their husbands. Odoku, my husband, I have bring a beautiful lady for you. I know you will like this one. A man cannot stay with only one woman. These are the facts you should know. That you don't know your husband's secrets doesn't mean that you are the only person your husband is seeing. Your husband has a side chick. Very soon you are going to know about your husband's secrets. That is if you ever know. Can only you satisfy your husband? Can you do the job? Do you know the level of barbed wire that is on their waist? That God wired inside them? Some of the ladies that are shouting today slept with married men before they got married. You let Doche is somebody that all of you should be applauding and not criticizing. He did what most cowards cannot do. All of you are cowards. He's a true son of his father. That is how our ancestors did. They married two, three, four, five, six wives. How can you cage one man to yourself? It's not possible. It does not happen anywhere. Now I see some people that are hypocritical in nature coming out to condemn you, Ledoche, for taking in a second wife. Some of our men. Most of our men are condemning you, Ledoche. You don't believe in second wife, but you believe in side chick. You condemn you, Ledoche, for marrying a second wife. But look at you, you are a pedophile, you are a rapist. You are raping your house help. You have a wife, but you're sleeping outside. Are you not a hypocrite? You don't believe in second and third wife, but you believe in having 30... 20 side chicks. 
You sleep around. Everywhere. You, Le Doce, is better than all of you. Polygamy has come to stay and it can never be taken away. Swear that ever since you married your wife, it's only her. Swear, and I will you. You cannot swear. Look at sinners. Look at men that don't stay without a woman that are insulting this man. Because he did what most of you cowards cannot do. He took that step. The step of our ancestors. The step of our forefathers. The step of a real man by marrying a second wife. These are what real men does. You don't want to share him. But he is willingly sharing his body everywhere. Keeping secrets. Which one do you believe? The one that they are hiding or the one they made public? Is it not our celebrities that have three, four, five, six, seven baby mamas? The worst thing you can do to a woman is to impregnate her without marrying her. But this man said, no, I can't keep her as a baby mama. I am going to marry her the way they marry a woman. That is respect. That is how a normal human being, a normal man that has sex is supposed to behave. He married her. But your celebrities have left women with children without a husband. But the same Bible said, a time shall come when 30 women will be running after one man just to answer the name of a man. Is it not the same Bible that said it? Those men that married three, four, five, six wives in the Old Testament, are you saying on the last day when the trumpet sound or during judgment, those people will not go to hellfire because it is Old Testament. And the people that married second wife in the New Testament, they will go to hellfire. Why the people that married two wives in the Old Testament will go to heaven? Is that how the judgment will be when the time for judgment comes? Deceiving yourselves. There is nothing like marriage in heaven. Nothing like marriage in heaven. It is all man on your own. Every man go and answer for yourself. Enjoy yourself while you are still alive. You are talking about Christianity. Even your pastors are polygamous. Your pastors are having side chicks. Your pastors are sleeping around. Your pastor is still a polygamous man. Our reverend fathers are polygamous in nature. This is the nature of a man. You cannot cheat it. The barbed wire they used to barbed wire the waist of our men. One woman cannot satisfy a man. Two women cannot satisfy a man. Three women except the man is sick. Except the man has a disease. That is why only one woman will satisfy an African man. I am a strong advocate of polygamy. I don't believe in one man, one wife because it's not existing. These are the things that we used to deceive ourselves. One man, one wife is a joke. It doesn't exist. I don't believe in it. Go outside and look for a beautiful wife for your husband. That is what is expected of you to do. Go and look for a beautiful girl for your husband. If you think that you are not capable enough to take care of the man, get a new wife. Get a beautiful girl and give to your husband. Look at all the ladies that we are sleeping with married men. Women that cannot even stay in their marriage are criticizing this lady. 95% of single ladies in Nigeria don't joke with married men. Keep a married man here. Keep a single man here. Ask a Nigerian woman, which one will you take? She will go for a married man. She will tell you that a married man brings money more than a single man. That a married man doesn't have money. A single guy doesn't have money. But a married man can foot her bills. That is how a Nigerian woman behaves. That is how the women, single girls in Nigeria prefer married men. They date married men. Who are the people sleeping with married men? Look at Chinelu. You want me to tag you? Including you too. You that they had inside drawers so that the wife of the man will not know that you are inside the hotel room with a married man. You are in a drawer while your married man friend is on the phone with his family. You still have mouth to insult you, the Dutch wife. All of you, your hypocrisy is legendary. As far as you have a side chick, as far as you don't, you, you do not sleep with only one woman, you don't have any right to talk when you, Ledoche, is talking. He is a man, oh, 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 these are the kind of men I respect. Not all of you, totoys. Not all of, not all of you, hypocrites. Not all of you, cowards. But you can't boldly say you want to marry a second wife. Go and emulate you, Ledoche. This is time for you to go to work. You have to start the campaign. Campaign of say no to one man, one wife. If you don't marry them, who will marry them? You don't know we have much number of much more number of single ladies moving around without husband. The same women that don't joke with married men. You want me to tag you? We know you because you are a hypocrite, pretenders, fake people everywhere. The other ones are telling you it is better to have a side chick than a, a, a second wife. You are a useless man, you idiot. It's more better to have two, three, four, five wives than to have one side chick. That is what you should know. Real men marry two wives and idiots go after side chicks. That is what you should know. The Bible says that a time shall come when 30 women, 40 women will be running after one man just to answer their name. The time has come. You have to embrace it with your full heart. Accept polygamy with your full heart. You have to accept it. That time is here.